Prepare to explore a world of twisted justice and brutal punishment, where even the most petty offenses can result in punishments worse than death. The Roman Empire was known for its cruel and harsh treatment of those who crossed its way. In this video, we'll examine some of the most insane and horrifying kinds of punishment in Roman history. From crucifixion to being thrown to the lions, the Romans delighted in inflicting misery and suffering on their opponents, and not even their own citizens were immune to their perverted sense of justice. But beyond the shock value of these barbaric acts, lies a deeper look into the psyche of one of history's most powerful empires. How did such a brilliant and developed civilization become so violent and barbaric? What does it say about human nature that we can create such cruel punishments? These are only a few of the questions we will investigate on this enlightening tour of the Roman Empire's punishment system. Welcome to History Unfolded. The Roman Empire was one of the most powerful and influential civilizations in history, with a rich cultural heritage that has left a lasting impact on the world we know today. But for all its achievements and accomplishments, the Roman Empire was also a place of extreme brutality, where the most minor of crimes could lead to punishment so cruel and inhumane that it defies imagination. Crucifixion was one of the most infamous punishments carried out under the Roman Empire. The victim was either nailed to a cross or tied to it, and they were left there for several days until they died of exposure or suffocation. Crucifixion was frequently reserved for slaves or disobedient subjects, and the intention was to discourage other people from defying Roman authority as much as to punish the offender. Damnatio ad bestias or condemnation to beasts was a form of Roman capital punishment where the condemned person was killed by wild animals, usually lions or other big cats. This form of execution, which first appeared during the Roman Republic around the 2nd century BC, had been part of a wider class of blood sports called bestiarii. This method of execution was frequently reserved for those who had committed crimes against the state or were considered enemies of the emperor. The victim would be placed in an arena surrounded by hungry lions who would maul and devour them in front of a cheering crowd. This punishment was designed not only to punish the individual, but also to entertain and appease the masses. Aside from these heinous methods of execution, the Romans were also known for their inventive and creative forms of torture. One method, for example, involved tying the victim to a wooden frame and then pouring hot tar over their body. The tar would adhere to the skin and continue to burn, causing excruciating pain and, in many cases, death. Another type of punishment involved a device known as the brazen bull. There was a door on one side of this bull-shaped monument made of hollow metal. The victim would be positioned within the bull, and a fire would be ignited beneath it. When the metal heated, the victim would be slowly burnt to death, their screams resonating from the bull's mouth. But, these terrible punishments were meted out to anyone other than only criminals and state foes. Even Roman citizens could find themselves in trouble with the law, and even slight offenses could result in severe punishments. A Roman citizen who was found guilty of theft, for instance, might have their hands amputated, while a lady who was caught engaging in adultery might be killed by being buried alive. As a method of punishment, the Romans also enjoyed public humiliation. A person who was convicted of a crime, for instance, may be made to parade around the streets while bearing a sign around their neck that identified the crime they committed. This was done to strengthen the power and authority of the Roman state as well as to punish the culprit. Decapitation was one of the punishments intended for people who committed crimes against the state. Beheading was regarded by the Romans as a swift and humane method of punishment, and it was frequently used to execute people who were regarded as enemies of the state, such as treasonous individuals or political dissidents. A public square or arena would be the victim's destination, where their head would be chopped off in full view of the people. The pear was one of the most creative kinds of punishment utilized throughout the Roman Empire. The pear was a device with a pear-like form that was placed into the victim's mouth, anus, or vagina and then inflated to induce severe pain and suffering. This punishment was only applied to individuals who had engaged in blasphemous or heretical behavior and had publicly criticized the Roman deities. Pena cale, or penalty of the sack, was another punishment reserved for people who had committed crimes against the state. The victim was put in a sack with various animals, such as dogs, monkeys, or snakes, and they were then thrown into a river or the sea as a kind of punishment. The human and the animals would both drown as the sack sank to the bottom. It was an especially brutal kind of punishment intended to demonstrate the strength and might of the Roman state. Branding was another method of punishment popularized by the Romans. 
a mark or symbol was burned onto the victim's skin during branding, often on the victim's hand or forehead. The mark was frequently used to humiliate and embarrass the victim because it would serve as a constant reminder of the offender's crime. The mark could also make it difficult for the individual to find work or to socialize with others, as they would be seen as outcasts or criminals. The crimen me statis, or crime against majesty, was one of the most controversial punishments given throughout the Roman Empire. This was a blanket word that could be applied to anyone who was seen to pose a threat to the emperor's or the state's power. This offense was frequently used to stifle political dissidents or individuals who had spoken out against the empire because the punishment might range from exile to execution. Soaring, this method of execution was not widely used during the Roman Empire, but gained popularity during Emperor Caligula's reign, when he sentenced his opponents and members of his own family to soaring. Convicts' bodies were cut across the torso with a chainsaw, rather than down the body as is customary. Caligula sat on the sidelines, eating delicious food while watching the executions. Torture, he claimed, increased his appetite. Because of other Mediterranean nations, the Romans began to use elephants for military purposes at some point. For the purpose of execution, the convict was sometimes placed on the ground and the animal was ordered to stand on the victim's head, body. Mutilation was another kind of punishment utilized by the Romans. Mutilation was frequently employed as a form of punishment or as a means of degrading and shaming people who had engaged in crimes against the state. This could involve castrating the victim or possibly cutting off their ears, nose, or hands. Finally, one punishment that was particularly gruesome was known as the wheel breaking. Wheel breaking has its origins in Greece. Then the tool of torture was adopted by the Romans. A naked victim with widely spaced limbs was tied to metal rings. Then thick chunks of wood were placed under her hips, knees, ankles, elbows and wrists. Then the executioner crushed her body with a heavy wheel. It was a particularly horrific form of punishment that was reserved for those who had committed crimes against the state, such as treason or rebellion. As brutal as these punishments may seem to us today, it's important to remember that they were considered normal and acceptable at the time. The Romans saw themselves as a highly advanced and civilized society and they believed that these punishments were necessary to maintain order and stability. It's also worth noting that many of these punishments were reserved for lower-class individuals or those who were seen as a threat to the social order. The wealthy and powerful were often able to escape punishment altogether, or at least receive more lenient sentences. In conclusion, the most insane punishments used during the Roman Empire were a brutal and inhumane reminder of the consequences of absolute power. The Roman legal system was designed to maintain the ruling class's grip on power, and the punishments were often arbitrary and cruel. The legacy of the Roman Empire, including the use of these extreme punishments, serves as a reminder of the darker aspects of human history. It is important to acknowledge and learn from these mistakes, recognizing the suffering that was inflicted upon countless individuals. Thanks for watching, do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel.